Hi, Colin Travis. <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> so, um, this video, video we're going to take a bit of a break from, um, the Clone Wars. And I'm going to focus on, um, what's happening. Uh, with Disney, I want to film a particular of Cafe King and um, the Olympics government are essentially that uh, Disney is pushing all of his film to fire, to actually fire her, her. Um, the, this is actually coming from the fact of how the Rise of Skywalker uh, performed um, both at the box office and with fans itself, themselves. Um, if you want to know why the Rise of Skywalker was so bad. Don't blame J.J. Abrams. Blame, if you get a blame for it, blame Kathleen Kenny because Kathleen Kenny have what has what is called um, creative control, which means she controls every aspect of what went into that movie. So JJ had great ideas, like, um, like there was going kind of different scenes in, in the movie. Uh, it was my, um, what, 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 one in particular, um, one part in particular that was going very, very, very good was when, um, they was on Exegol and she and Ben had just had their fourth um powers drain by Palpatine and as as, you know, as she was laying on on the ground she was calling out to the four spirits. What was supposed to actually happen was it is it we is it where the four spirits um was talking to her they're actually appearing to her. They're actually appearing to um like collect you can see them in the, you can see the four spirits like what like what happened with Luke um in the movie. Yeah, um when when uh, Luke appeared to her, and they were supposed to all stand around her as they as she got as she got up and was talking to her and giving her their force energy. On that on that side that um that cafe Katie cut. She cut that out, which I think was a stupid idea because we would be able to see not only the four stars of everyone, um, Yoda. We couldn't even go. We couldn't even go to see a four stars of my of my window. So, um, yeah, it it. It can't, it kind of, um, was a bit of a deal. I mean, they got Hayden Christensen in to shoot a couple of scenes. And I'm guessing that those scenes were for, for Exegol. Now, I'm going to read you guys something here that came that is on a website called 
on ang one angry gamer dot net I will um and, and I'm going to um read you a couple of things of what of what has been said on um there so you can see where I'll get my um sources from but it it saying it says Disney wants Kathleen Kennedy gone from Lucasfilm. And while it's what saying so just said that she's on her way out the door from what we read Holly, there's a ninety five percent chance she won't be with the company much longer. And then it goes on further to say It also says, um, unfortunately, Kathleen King has a final say of, in which of the which cut of, of the movie will be green wood for, distrib for distribution. And she chose what was done, the JJ, the JJ Iger cut. As a result, in town, she is being blamed for the fire of the Rise of Skywalker. Now, honestly, um, I... Yeah. I, I fall, I fall heartily agree with that. I agree with it for two reasons. I agree with it because she uh, she had creative control over the movie. She she wanted I like you got another article echo here. Um it says that um this one comes from uh, rollingstone.com. It said she, like, she, she wasn't really thinking about the fans all that well. Um, it, it was, she... Um... So here we go. So what she did this is from Rolling Stones as guardian as guardian of the Star Wars universe, this is what I'm gonna say that Catherine Kennedy guardian that I I I I think she's a guardian. I think she is I can point wrecking ball to the Star Wars universe. So girls, as going of the Star Wars universe, Kennedy ha has needed every ounce of her experience, never hesitating to swap out creative constraints, even mid movies when necessary, as on 2018's commercial disappointment of disappointment solo. So again so again she's also being um um so she didn't being uh blamed for what the solo very bad too because I mean I swapped out the creative teams in the middle of solo. That's why it's gone. That's why it's going so well. I mean, it's just dipped. Because she swapped. Because she swapped out the creative teams. Which is exactly similar to, to what she's. to what um, she did with 
uh, Colin Trevorrow and uh, J.J. Abrams got a and I really got a vote no, but uh, Colin Trevorrow was supposed to do um, The Rise of Skywalker, uh, not J.J. Abrams, but uh, because he had a and the, the, this is the other issue that why I think Kathleen Kennedy needs to go. When, whenever you have a disagreement with Kathleen Kennedy, you are, you are so whatever you, whatever your creative, um, where your creative ideas for the way that you're directing, uh, would it be hard, hard to direct? Whenever your ideas collide with Kathleen Kane, she shows you the door. We, we don't think it's, we, our kind is bad, but it's quite long. And, I mean, hell, we saw, we, we saw, um, in The Rise of Skywalker what happens when Kathleen Kane gets her way to the movie. The movie's good, but again, there are some things in there that, Go on, we watch them. And I've I've got I've got the DVD, so I've 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 re watched it, and there are certain things even towards the end. Well, I well I'm still going right now. Why the hell did you do that? Why did you cut out the video thing? I'm still going to have a look at the. D uh, the deleted scenes. Um, my my biggest problem that I do have is the fact that Kathleen Kennedy made a decision not to put any female joy in um in the Rise of Skywalker. There are no can I watch the Vader subtitles. I know I know which female joy. They are speaking. Though, though, what my biggest issue is, is it, is it, you call them female, female joy and you give them a number. No. I've, I've still, I still don't get why she, I, I still, can't follow the reason behind taking out the character. She, she put, she, they, they put every, every rail, every rail dry from Alex, from, um, Obi-Wan to Yoda, Mace, they even put Kanan from the, from the Rebels TV series. They even put his name in. But but what? But I, I I just think that right now the the best thing for Star Wars and for Lucasfilm as a, as a company is for Kathleen Kennedy's contract to be terminated and for her to get saved all. And what I would like to say is. After she does get so I want to see someone who steps up to the plate, takes on every, every other um, director's idea for what for the for the vision that they are contracted to make. And again, if you guys if you guys, if you guys didn't know. The um the the creators of um the game of uh, uh, Game of Thrones were supposed to do the new Star Wars trilogy, and they aren't doing that anymore. They're actually they're actually doing um something but um further with Game of Thrones, but the one was um Netflix. Uh, and the, uh, boy, but the reason behind, uh, they, they, they're choosing to do that project is because, uh, Kathy, Kathy, Kenny, 
basically gave him a list of what was the, what the movie was going to be on and didn't actually talk to them and they and instead of um having actual conversation it was pretty much well this is what you gotta shoot or there's the door and I, and I think that they kind of said well well, well see ya bye and then they flex so do you want do you want to do a, a spin-off of a game of phones? And I went, like, yeah, sure. So I think um, she was a complete fool to do, to, um, do that to two um, very well-known um, people in the movie industry. I know that Kathleen Kennedy is... But in the TV show, in the, yeah, movie, TV, in the industry. I know that Kevin King has done, um, the Indiana Jones, and I respect the fact I do like watching Indiana Jones, I think they're very good movies, movies, but her being, um, her, Doing what she's done to Star Wars, it it just needs to stop. She needs to just walk out that door, and work a film, and not ever go back. Otherwise, I I think that Star Wars could possibly go go down the going right, and so could George Lucas. Um. Uh, legacy, which, yeah, I mean, I mean, my junction with the last Jedi, I mean, the way she, I mean, the way that she wanted Luke to be the scared, Scared, fighting old man that just don't just won't even won't even come back when it, when it's a call from his own sister. I mean, come on, seriously. Anyway, that's my rant about well, what. Well, that, but yeah, I, I, I mean, if she goes, I'll be, I, I'll be very, very, very happy, um, with that, um, and, I think that's pretty much going it for this video, but yeah. Kathleen Kennedy getting fired, why do you all get fired the moon, whatever. Um, again, there are only rumours, but I think that, um, that, yeah, I think that it's a good thing if she gets, um, removed as president and as basically gets basically told there's the door, lose it. So, yeah, um, next video we will be back to the Clone Wars. Um, but yeah, I just want, want to share this bit of information with you and what my thoughts are. And yeah, I'm, I think it's time for her to, to go. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's it for now. I will see you all in the, in the next video. As for now, I am out.